Hi, this is our fax of Mars. I've been trying to ignore this story, but it's not going anywhere. Apparently, what they believe is that Putin may have lit off a nuke <laughs> as a test up in the Arctic because, because they have found a huge spike in radiation across Europe. Uh, Lorraine claims as U.S. Air Force on a special WC-135 constant Phoenix to RAF Mildenhall, where the main mission is to detect and identify nuclear explosions from the air. <laughs> and here you have a map of countries that where the radiation has been detected. Along with monitoring new testing, WC-135 is sometimes used to track radioactive activity as it happened after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in the then Soviet Union. While well, aircraft was also deployed near North Korea in anticipation of Kim Jong-un's controversial rocket launches in recent years. Although they cross European airspace from time to time, their deployments to the UK is still rare. And there's been no official statement from the US military about the reasons why it's deployed there. However, sources suggest that the aircraft has been tasked with investigating the spike in radiation levels detected in Northern Europe since January. And some respected websites out there claim there's growing fears with the military circles that Russia has been testing its nuclear might ahead of a new conflict. Well, that's not good. Many points of radiation is proof that the Russians have restarted nuclear weapons testing at Novaya Zemlya near the Arctic. Others, others point to the lack of recorded seismic activity to doubt the claims. However, the appointment of the WC-135 to the UK seems to have weight to the test theory. America's highest ranking military officer has compared current tensions with Russia to the height of the Cold War ahead of a face-to-face -face showdown with his Kremlin counterpart. Gee, I uh, thought that Donald Trump was friends with Putin. So there goes that theory. General John Joe Dumford said an emergency immediate meeting with General Valerie Gerasimov is absolutely critical while strains between two super powers reached breaking point. Last Wednesday, it was revealed that Russians, Russian jets buzzed the U.S. destroyer docked off the Romanian coast and blatant show of force slammed by naval officers as unsafe and unprofessional. A 200 crew Russian spy ship with the surface air missiles reached as close as 30 miles to Connecticut coastline in a key U.S. submarine base. At the weekend, the U.S. Navy released a statement saying it, its testing of two Trident missiles was in response to world events, such as scores of people film mysterious light trailing through the night sky. <laughs> Yesterday, we revealed how radioactive particles have been detected in seven different European countries, and scientists can't explain where they came from. Traces of iodine-131 from Norway, Finland, Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, France, and Spain in January, but the public was not immediately alerted. 
These radioactive particles are produced by A-bomb explosions or nuclear disasters such as Chernobyl or Fukushima. Uh, this definitely bears watching. <laughs> and nothing's been proven other than we know, you know, we know there has been a radiation release, but we don't know for certain where it's coming from. So I wouldn't draw any conclusions on this one right now, but right, keep an eye on it because it don't look good. Uh, we were told, you know, how, how uh, good friends Putin and Trump are. But gee, we're uh, still looking at Putin and saying, hey, what the dickens. It's all BS. This is scary. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.